Besides the negative implications of AI on society, in your book you also covered the potential of AI to bring a positive change for humanity. Can you give an example of one of these promising ways in which AI can reshape humanity? I think the most exciting change that AI can bring to society, at least for me, is the democratization of some very specific services. I'm going to give you a, a bunch of examples. One of them, it's an algorithm that was uh, developed by Google. Uh, it's basically a computer vision algorithm that can analyze images of an eye taken with a very simple smartphone and a lens and diagnose diabetic retinopathy. So let's just pause for a second and look at this for, with a little bit of distance. This means that using a very simple smartphone, like, like my phone, plus a very cheap lens and the eye, so we're talking about maybe a few hundred dollars of, of cost plus some software, we can basically have the same impact that you will have using tens of thousands of, thousands of dollars worth of equipment and a specialized doctor. What does it mean? It means that suddenly billions of people that don't have access to this very expensive equipment and to this kind of doctors suddenly can be diagnosed for this disease. AI is enabling this kind of diagnosis to become more democratic. And this can happen to a bunch of different use cases in the healthcare field. But just think also about other fields where access to services is very restricted to people that basically have money. Think about law, for instance. We say that law is equal for everyone. It's actually not. It's equal for everyone who has access to lawyers, right? If you don't have a lawyer, maybe it's going to be really hard for you to figure out whether you, know, you have the right for something or not. Well, lawyers are expensive, right? And there's a lot of companies now that are working on trying to use AI to automate maybe the simplest jobs the lawyers can do. This way, a bunch of people that suddenly uh, have never basically had access to law services suddenly can allow themselves to pay for an AI lawyer that maybe it's not the same thing of a normal lawyer, okay? Let's suppose that maybe it's 70% you know, accurate, but still it gives access to a service to these people that suddenly can be protected by uh, you know, all this kind, of, uh, this kind of stuff where you need lawyers for, okay? So in these two examples with healthcare, with the law, it gives you an idea of how AI, yes, true, it can automate some tasks and maybe some people are gonna have less work to do, maybe. But what it really excites me is the opportunities that it opens up. It makes democratic services that have never been possible to purchase from a whole big part of the human population. And this to me, it's extremely exciting.